Taylor here, and welcome back to another session of Pellet Tech 101. Today I have a St. Croix control board, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how we set up the proper programming of this control board uh, based on your model and your fuel type. So this is the new style St. Croix control board that replaces all previous digital control boards on St. Croix. Uh, if you have an early model St. Croix that has a rotary turn knob and rocker switches, there'll be a retrofit control board kit based on your model and your serial number. For all units that currently have a digital LED board, this is the newest style board for both the corn units as well as the pellet units. And again, we have a program cycle that needs to be set once we have this installed. So just real quick to go over the back side when installing, we first want to make sure that the stove is unplugged from the wall. That's very important. We have one main Molex plug here at the bottom. Uh, so our primary wire harness is going to go right into the main Molex. There is a little locking connector. So once that's pushed in, it will lock in place and you know that it's secure. Over here on this side, we have a small blue terminal block. This is going to be for our thermostat wires. It does not matter which wire goes where. We are simply going to use a small precision flathead screwdriver and lock in place our thermostat wires. Over here on the top side, we have a three-wire jumper coming out. Uh, the three-jumper wire currently has uh, a small plastic uh, bypass plug that's on two of the pins here. So this three-wire jumper is only used on select models that have a photo eye connection. So this is in some of St. Croix's newer models that have come out as of recent. Um, majority of St. Croix models will not have a photo eye and this is simply to be left as it is disconnected. Uh, if you do have a model, for an example like one of the elements that has a photo eye, you're going to pull off this small black plastic jumper and you're going to go ahead and connect this into the three wire photo eye connector that comes out of the stove. Again, if your stove does not have a photo eye, as most models don't, we're simply going to leave that plastic jumper on the prongs and leave this disconnected as is. Once we have the control board installed in the unit and we have it plugged back in the wall, we're ready to go ahead and adjust the programming. So the programming on the board has to be done while the stove is off and completely cooled down. Uh, the toggle switch right here has to be set on the manual position for us to be able to set the programming. So essentially the control board comes in program one. Now there's four programs total in the control board. Program one and two are going to be used for corn and multi-fuel units. Program three and four are going to be used for pellet units. Uh, the difference between the programs is that it's changing the auger cycle. Uh, so it is important that we have the right program set based on our model and our fuel type. So again, if I am uh, burning corn or multi-fuel in one of St. Croix's multi-fuel stoves, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, at program one or two. Uh, instructions are included along with the control board so you can see the difference in the different programming cycles uh, and determine which one is best for you. But again, program one and two are going to be multi-fuel. Program three is going to be the primary program that's used on all pellet stove models that St. Croix offers. Program four is going to be used on pellet stove models where I'm only using cherry pits or I'm only burning cherry pits. Uh, so primarily, most pellet stoves are always going to be at a number three. Uh, the primary setting for people that are using corn or multi-fuel is going to be the number one program. So again, as the control board comes from the factory, it's going to be set within that number one program. And here is how we adjust the programming. So again, stove is plugged into the wall. It's off. It's cool. I have my toggle switch down here in the manual position. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to press and hold the auger feed button and then I am going to press and hold both the high and the low fan trim at the same time and I depress all three together. When I do that I'm going to see my heat indicator, my heat LEDs blink. So one blink is going to indicate that it's in program one. As I press and hold my auger feed and then my high and low fan trim depress at the same time it should now give me a series of two blinks indicating I'm in program two. Hold down the auger feed, high and low fan trim. Depress all three at the same time. I should now see three blinks and be in program three. Auger feed, high low fan trim. Depress all three at once. I should now be in program four or see a series of four blinks on my heat selector. If I want to go back down to program one or go back through the cycles, I just continue to repeat the process. 
just like that. Once I am in the proper programming that I need to have the board set to based on my model and my fuel type, uh, I can simply leave it in that program. So once I have it set in that program, again, it will blink that series of lights on your heat control. Uh, you let that be, the control board will go blank, and we're ready to go ahead and start up the stove now that it's in the proper cycle. So if you run the unit on manual, uh, you're just simply gonna go ahead and turn the on off button here, and it'll start to go through the startup cycle. If you operate your stove uh, in a, a thermostat mode or have a thermostat connected, again, we can set that to either smart stat or T stat as far as our thermostat mode here. Um, from there, you're off to the races. So again, hopefully this video is helpful, just a nice visual tool uh, to basically show you how we're gonna set the programming of a new style St. Croix digital LED control board based on our stove and our fuel type. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the section below the video here. Uh, always happy to assist and make sure that everything is 100%. Stay tuned for more videos and we'll see you soon. Thanks.